So how do you find the very best UK property deal on the market? Simply put, you use a right move extension. Check out this video for more details. Hi everyone, my name is Simon Mishevich from Optimize Accountants and in this video I'm going to talk to you about this Patma extension. I'm going to talk to you a little while about how you can get it, but first of all, let's have a look at how it helps me find the very best property deals and it can help you too. So let's just go through this detail here. I'm oh, just moved the wrong thing. So I'm going to go on to right to move and I'm going to buy a property in my local area and I'm just going to extend this so it's easy to see. So I'm just going to put in my postcode of my office. Okay. So it doesn't matter what I've done here, you find it for me. And then what I'm going to do is say, well, I want the type of property to be residential property. I don't want any commercial. And I want houses, typically, I don't want flats, leaseholds especially. Who wants leases at the end of the day unless I own the freehold? I don't really make the money, the freeholder does. So I'm going to put in that and I'm just going to press uh, include subject to contract and then find the properties. And what I'm going to do is just bring that back down again. And it's found 471 properties. I'm going to ignore that. Okay, there's no property deal details. That's rather bizarre. So what I'll do is, is move it to five miles. Okay, here we are. So now we've got some property deals. Now, when you're looking at right to move, you may not see this information that I'm going to share with you now, but you really want to get this information to help you find the very, very best property deal. So this is where it's showing on the right, left hand side, price history. It's telling me what's happened. So the 16th of November, 2022 came onto the market at 485. No real change there. Um, the return on investment, which is really a good calculator. It looks at the rental yield that's possible for that property based on the amount of money that you might have to invest. So 1.89%, not really great. Yield, yield is the difference of your gross annual rental income versus the property price. And that's showing at 3.4%. I'm not looking at that deal. I always want to look at deals that have got a good uh, yield of 8% or more. So what I'm going to do is just to make it easy for myself. I'm going to do this uh, based on the property price and I'm going to do the lowest price. Okay, so that gives me an indication. But what I could do is do in terms of oldest listed. This is a really cool tip actually, using oldest listed. It shows me the properties that's been on the market for the longest period of time. They might be the ones that are open to a negotiation on price. So if I go here, this is saying price history, 26th of November, 2022. 170,000, return investment 4.29, yield 5.72, rent is 8.10. Maybe not so a good deal, not sure, move on. Next, we got this one at 320,000. First scene, 320,000, not much change. And people are saying that the house market is collapsing. Now, hold on a second, I've not seen any drops yet, but I've only looked at two. Return investment 16.63%, yield 10.35 interesting i might be interested in that property it's first seen on the market at um february 2020 hasn't sold yet they might be open to negotiation on that property what's happening with that property are they in it still or is it vacant i mean it looks pretty modern inside so it's done easily to rent out i would have thought but all of a sudden i might do something with that and then I keep on going down further, 520,000, very expensive, yield 4.8, move on. Now, what's interesting enough on that is unavailable sold. Okay, so we'll move on from that. Um, this one, again, the 20, uh, 21st of March, 2022, first scene, 440,000, not much change there. Uh, this has been sold by Luxing, sold to subject contract. But again, yield 5.77%. It's an easy system to use. So I say, well, I should get rid of this. I'm not that, you know, it's looking at the rents. It's telling me the yields. I don't need to do manual calculations. It's really spot on. So how do you get through the system? Uh, it's quite easily. Oh, before I do, let's just look at this one. So this one is 250,000, no chain. In fact, I know this area quite well. 
Um, so this property was first seen on the market September 20, uh, September 2021 at 240,000 and they put it up and it sold. Hmm. Interesting. So this property crash that we're all talking about, it's clearly not affecting this area. Um, let's have a look, see if there's any reduction <laughs> for that matter. Uh, I can't really see too much reduction in this entire area. And uh, let's have a look at it and see if I can see one. Okay, so nothing really has been, has been moving downwards in price uh, for the long eating area. But this tool is so good. You want to be using this. And there is a, a URL which is on this one, but it will take you to this how to install. So it's just like it basically if you use Firefox, you use Google Chrome, you can get an extension for it and it will attach itself to, to this and it will put this block. There is extra bits that you can get inside of this as well. So if you go on the right hand side, you can see more information about this area and lots of cool stuff. But start with that, that will help you find the property deal. It will help you identify the oldest properties, which you can see if there's any price changes to that property, the yields. So you've got a lot more armory for you to identify and do your due diligence on the right property for you to buy. So hopefully that's been useful.